We have a follow-up this morning to breaking news from 10 o'clock last night about an officer-involved shooting that left one man dead. This morning, the Travis County Sheriff's Office is taking over that investigation. That shooting happened in North Austin on May Place near Howard Lane when officers were trying to serve an arrest warrant for a bank robbery suspect. Kate Whitehall's live for us at the scene of the shooting with details. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you can see behind me, Travis County Sheriff's Department still out here this morning. They do have a car blocking off the roadway, and you can see behind me, they do have the whole area lit up behind me as they continue their investigation. And, you know, around 7 o'clock last night, six officers with the Central Texas Violent Crimes Task Force were tracking a suspect involved in a local bank robbery. When the three FBI agents, two APD officers, and one Round Rock officer spotted the suspect behind the wheel of a Suburban, they followed him to his home. But when the suspect pulled in the driveway, that's when he started firing at officers. The task force officer stopped behind the suspect vehicle, uh, exited, ident identified themselves as federal officers, FBI, uh, at which time the suspect suddenly jumped out from the driver's door and started sh firing shots towards the officer. Now, no officers were hit, but the suspect was wounded and taken to St. David's Medical Center in Round Rock where he died about an hour later. So far this morning, no word on his name or what bank robbery he was involved in. We do know that the APD and Round Rock officers were the ones who fired their weapons, and the Austin police chief said that he was placing his two officers on paid administrative leave, which is standard procedure in this type of investigation. But just to kind of set the scene for you of what you were looking at behind me, this is kind of a one-lane road back here, and it's while we're literally a block from Interstate 35 off Howard Lane, it looks as though it's not necessarily a neighborhood back there, but kind of a rural setting. Of course, we get more information as the day goes on. We'll keep it posted. We're live in North Austin. Kate Wydock, KXA News. All right, Kate, thank you. All warrant services, by the way, do have some element of risk because officers don't know what they're up against or what they may be up against. In Travis County, there are constables in five precincts executing civil and criminal warrants. And prior to serving a warrant, those deputies do a surveillance run before they move in and they rely on criminal background checks to help them know um, what they're up against and to make a better assessment of a potential threat.